Right, so another thing we've got to do is just put a little line down this horn here to make it look as though it's, you know, obviously uh, there's a break in the beak. And also two little marks in the top. There's vents where uh, I'm presuming, I don't know what the vents are there for, they probably breathe through them. So there we go. So that's the next job. And that can be put aside then and we'll carry on with the, um, the other one. Now, to get this little line along here and then fill it with black ink or something, I suppose there's any number of ways you can do it. Um, I'm going to try this. I've got a little hard disc on the end of that. That's pretty worn down now. I'm going to try that. It may burn the, uh, the horn if it's too fast. Um, you could use a very, very fine chisel and do that. Um, you could also use a file. Uh, or I'll tell you what, um, a riffler. I don't know if I've got any to hand. Should be some in here. If you've got anything like this, you can find your one. There you go. So that's a, a carver's riffler. So that's triangular and you could use something like that. So how you put that line in will be entirely up to you. Um, as I say, there are a number of ways to do it. So just bear with me. Oh, there we go. I thought I'd lost it. Uh, I've, I've just penciled in a little bit of lead there, but you can put paint in there, you can put uh, indelible ink off a marker pen, um, any number of things can be done. So we're now just going to do these two little vents on top. So we just put two little marks in the top and we just put you use of that um, magic marker in there and just uh, rubbed it down 
Um, once it's varnished, it'll stop in there. We might just put a little bit um, along the beak as well. Right, we've just buffed this little beak up and the thing about polishing it up on a buffer is that you'll be able to see all the imperfections in the horn uh, where you file, where you've rubbed, any nicks and so this is a good opportunity to now start rubbing down with like say 600 grit or something like that and get nice and smooth uh, buff it up again until you're happy that you've got all the marks out because there's a lot, lot of marks in that you can, you may not be able to see them, or I can see them, um, and uh, you want to get rid of those. So uh, that's a little job we can be doing as well. Now there's a bit of 400 grit, but uh, it's fine enough. I've got a, a deep nick on the top there. Right, so we've just rubbed that down with 400 grit and give it another polish and then you can see it's probably quite a bit better so uh, we can put this to one side now and uh, we'll create another one and the whole process starts all over again um, I don't know whether you want to see all that again So we're going to go on the uh, grinder here. This is exactly what we did before.
I frowned down mostly on one side because there was white gawk in that horn. I don't want that, so I'm trying to grind it out. The other side's okay, so uh, I'm trying to save as much as we can on the other side. We'll give that a bit of a Right, I've already decided which is going to be the outer edge. We've still got a bit of white in there, that perhaps will go later on, but that's going to be the bit that lays along the other um, woodcock um, head. So uh, I'm just going to mark that up so we always know where the top is. So again, just a little dot and then I'm always working and using the same sort of position of, uh, of the beak. What we're going to do now is create our little peg on the end of that. And then, as we did before, we'll probably find that we have to shorten this. Yeah, we'll probably take about 5mm off that. Thank you. 
okay so that's going to fit nicely what we're going to do now is take the material off that's going to lay alongside the other um, head because what it says what it's doing is there's bulk on there at the moment we want to get that in as close as we can so that can come down and run sort of almost alongside of the, uh, the peg and we'll get rid of a bit of bulk we need to get rid of a bit of bulk on the other side as well um, and then once that'll uh, slide in there we can just nip the end off so we've got the, uh, the beat the, uh, the length we want so again this is what we did before although you didn't see it I'm going to take my two off the bottom of the beat now. 